guys, good day. This is Teacher Daniel here. I would like to discuss with you on the topic of short writing. Now, to my students, I hope you guys are doing fine and doing well. I would like to discuss with you guys about short writing. So, I have believed I've actually given you guys modules, right? So, using those modules, I would like you guys to go to page number six so that we are able to discuss on the short writing. Okay. Even though the ones you do not have the no models with you, it's okay. You are able to follow. I'm going to show you on the skill of writing of uh, short writings where you are able to use a number of adjectives and adverbs. And how are you able to ask or write questions and sentences so that your writing would be interesting. So, I hope you guys are ready. Shall we go on? Okay, moving on to the next point. All right. So, before we go any further, all right. Today, I'll be discussing with you guys about a short story. Now, the idea of short story is simple. When you use, the use of words depends on your creativity and your content. Isi kandungan, apa yang awak tulis di sini is something that is considered of your imagination. Okay? So, with this content over here, if you guys would have actually read the content, you can take your time to read the content. So, I'm just going to go along how is this uh, sentence style of writing is going to be like. The question focus over here, a memorable experience that happened to Jasmine. Now, this is the focus over here. As I was saying, this is the focus over here. So, first things first, memorable experience. Now, when you're talking about the word experience over here, you must remember that when you are able to describe a person's imagination or a person's feeling, you have to go through in many ways, including of their senses, using their senses, what is their thinking style at the same time. And of course that you need to make sure that when you guys are writing the content, it must be like the person is able to imagine the situation. Now, if you're reading the content from page number six, it's about a girl by the name of Jasmine who is actually going through a situation which where she is going for a singing audition right she's very much nervous and she walks into the room and then there was a lot of things details they actually talked about like for example what was the situation around her what is the feelings about her what is that the reply that is given by the judges who's judging her singing over here did she pass the singing or did she fail it how did she fail it how did she pass this content this is what we are going to discuss about okay but again i've just given you another challenge over here where you need to use the word Sorry, um, the sentence over here, all right? The, you need to use the sentence over here, which is where Jasmine couldn't believe this was happening. You guys understand that? Okay. So, what are you seeing over here is just that the idea of how are you able to add this word in the sentence. Okay, as I was saying, guys, you need to know how are you able to use these words accordingly, all right? How are you using these words accordingly in your sentence? So, for an example, as you could see this particular word that is given to you here, Jasmine couldn't believe this was happening, right? So, you see the word over here that she couldn't believe that what was actually happening, in this case, right? So, it means that this person that you're writing about must have an intense story. The cerita dia mesti bukan menghayat hati, tetapi cerita mesti memberi satu idea bahawa awak boleh menggambarkan dalam pemikiran, dalam dalam minda anda. You are able to uh, able to see this exactly. Okay, so let's move on. Okay, let's talk about the idea of how are you able to start writing the content. First of all, you need to make sure that to start the story, Okay, you need to make sure that you're able to particularly start the story. Okay, what Jasmine was doing right before the memorable event. Okay, right before the memorable event. So, this is where we need to make sure that we are writing something about that. So, this is practically descriptive writing. So, if it's descriptive writing, what is the best way of using over here is where you need to use adjectives, 
you need to provide details you can write about adverbs conjunctions and dialogues over here all right so these are the necessities that you would need accordingly to write so i'm not going to show you on sentence exactly of what to write how to write i'm just going to give you a couple of ideas of how to do so right so moving on let's go to the next one right this is a breakdown over here first of all we need to pick a situation in order for me to talk about I couldn't believe this was happening. This was the breakdown. This was the catch was given to you, right? This was the catch was given to you that you need to make sure that you are able to particularly write the word that Jasmine couldn't believe this was happening, right? So using that as an idea, we need to pick up a particular situation. So what is the situation that you could see? Pick a situation where Jasmine probably is in a competition or probably she is waiting for her results, probably any of the good news or the bad news. You need to be able to provide a content that is tense or probably that is a situation that is gripping. Okay, you need to be able to provide a content that is tense or a situation that is gripping. Okay, all right. Now, for an example, you see the content of word that I've actually used over here. First things first, I started the sentence by saying that uh, let's say she is sitting in a room waiting for her name uh, to be called. Uh, or let's say she was sitting in a room that she was here and named to be called. Right? So first things first, I stated that Jasmine took a deep breath. Right? Took a deep breath. The sound of a whistle marks the moment and she took a dive. Now, when I say a dive over here, that means you could know that this is the reason that she is doing over here is for what? Probably she is doing for a state level swimming competition and she's, she has actually trained for months. Okay. She would have probably trained for months. So this is a way of jumping into the situation by saying that, you know, she took a deep breath. The sound of the whistle marks the moment and she took a deep dive. Okay. You could say that, you know, it is actually a state swimming, uh, swimming competition. Exactly. Right. Understood. Or you could take it as a point where she is probably not going on a swimming competition, but you could say that she is going for a, let's say, running competition as well. Right? Not a problem at all. It shouldn't be a problem at all in this case. Okay? So, it depends on your imagination. Alright. So, I say that, you know, she actually uh, took a deep breath. Sound of the whistle marks the moment she took a dive. So, you are able to imagine the situation. This is how profound writing uh, writing does okay and you are able to see what is the tension that was the person was going through right okay now let's say how are you writing this content to the next level so first thing i say that the person over here as in the sound of the whistle marks the moment and she took a dive probably the reason of doing is is probably she's going for a state level swimming or probably is running a state level swimming competition or running competition and she has actually trained for months so you could write the content in that way Okay, moving on, once you have already mentioned, it's always best to mention that what is she doing, what is the reason of this this girl being in this particular place. It depends, okay? So, it depends. So, first things first, you need to make sure that you are able to mention that what is the actual situation in the first paragraph of writing itself. It's best and you don't want your teacher to be reading it and wondering what are you even writing in the first place. Right, moving on to the next one. First thing is first, we need to give an issue. Every single hero or heroine in a story, you need to give them problem. When you do not give them problem, you wouldn't want to watch the movie. So it's the same idea of if you're not able to give a problem or a conflict where the person, the hero, right, the antagonist is actually going, the antagonist or the protagonist, whichever it is, who is going through a particular situation over here. So the protagonist, the protagonist over here in this case, that it must, it must be a person who is able to explain or probably go through the situation that they uh, that they have been brought into so you need to be able to give uh, you need to be able to give the content as intense as possible so as we see the protagonist over here where I would like to give her the 
issue okay let's say that she is actually hitting the board uh, let's say she is actually going for a swimming competition in this case right for an example so how am i to put the point so state that first things first remember that you must be able okay you must be able to provide to say what is the issue that has been given to you okay what is the issue that has been given to you in the first place all right so once you've already identified what is the issue the next thing that you could do is to make sure that you're able to describe them okay all right you're able to make sure that you're able to describe them over here so how are we able to describe the idea you see the sentence that i use it is mostly on the complex sentence over here Okay, so as you could see, the sentence of idea that I've given to you guys, it is actually pretty complex over here. All right, I'm giving you a complex sentence style. So first things first, let's see. Continuation of the content over here, as you could see, that I said, as soon as the body hit the water, she realized something was not right. So that means immediately in my question, I'm already giving you a content by saying that as soon as the body hits the water so the moment when i said that over here in this case right you could see that i'm already giving the problem to the character to the protagonist over here right so then when i state something that a person is already feeling something physical i need to make sure that i'm able to particularly describe the state of the person is it mental or physical what is the mental and physical state at that point of view so i say that as long as soon as the body hit the water she realized something was not right she started palpitating now when you say palpitating over here it means that they were actually must tiba -tiba, the heartbeat is actually going fast all right so she she started palpitating heavily and her arms were out of sink now when you say like the word out of sync what does it mean that means she was not able to probably swim let's say she's putting an idea of that she's trying to swim over here and it was not possible she thinks that you know something is wrong and it was not possible for her to swim okay then i need to talk about what are the external factors over here external factors that means so pada masa tu when she was trying to swim all right she could she was trying to swim she could barely hear the crowd but only the sound of her breathing for fresh air wheezing in her ears so you could see her sentence here barely hear the crowd that means she was not able to concentrate the crowd was cheering at her because the first thing you know she was started she started to breathe heavily the heartbeat was hitting it faster and and i could say that she could only hear the sound of her breathing for fresh air that means she's trying to breathe air when she's trying to swim right so i see wheezing over here is the sound of wheeze right in the person's ear right if the person has a certain difficulty breathing you'll hear a certain sound in their breathing so that kind of breathing was actually going through in her ear all right so we as readers we're thinking that okay something is wrong with the arms or probably something is wrong with the breathing she cannot breathe anymore we will be keep we will uh, keep on guessing on the content of what is the next thing should be like this is what your writer this is what a reader would expect what is the next thing happening what is the next thing happening right so moving on to the next is where you actually say what actually happens over here so after you spoke about the external factors and what is the situation then you continue what is the decision what is the dis description like okay for an example what other senses okay as you could see i said what other sentence, uh, sorry, senses can I use to describe a situation? All right. So what other senses do I have? So I am able to describe a particular situation over here. Understood, right? Okay. So I state that in the corner of her eyes. Okay. As you see, I wrote the sentence here. In the corner of her eyes, she could see a rival. That means while she was swimming in the corner of the eyes, she just looked on the side, the next lane that her rival was ahead of her. That means she was swimming as much as she could and at the same time, she could see that her rival, that means 
her opponent was going on the other side, other side and she was going faster. So when you see your opponent is going faster, how is that or what is that you could actually talk about is to talk about what she felt accordingly, okay, what she actually felt. So in this case, when you're talking about someone feels or if you probably want to describe about how does the person looks like when they feel like so, it's best for you to pro uh, for you to actually use, well, for me, these are the best which is the adverbs or the adjectives that you're able to use in a sentence, okay? Now, moving on, let me just show you an idea how this thing actually works, okay? So, for an example, in this case, okay, I said that she, I said that she actually panicked, right? She actually panicked here, okay? That is the one content I use, okay? She panicked and a sharp pain pierced through her right leg. So now I'm telling the situation, it is nothing to do with the breathing. It is nothing to do with the arms that she was not in sync to breathe. But she had a particular pain. Right? I state the pain over here. She has a particular pain. And it was happening through her right leg. All right. So then what happens, okay? So followingly, I need to tell, since I told her that she panicked and she has sharp pain and is piercing through her right leg, it's best to say that it was agonizing. Now when you say like the word agonizing over here, it means that extreme pain, very, very painful, right? So instead of saying that, I use the word agonizing would be a better word for me, all right? And becoming numb. Now, when you say the word numb, it means that crime la, got no feeling already. So, you could see that the person was swimming over here. That means she was experiencing a leg crime. Right? So, immediately I didn't say that. I just gave the idea of, you know, she started breathing heavily. She couldn't breathe. The hand was out of sync. She was blurred. She couldn't see. She was looking at her. Uh, her opponent was swimming ahead of her. Then only I'm telling what is the problem over here. Alright? I'm giving you a uh, giving situation over your surrounding. This is the best way to explain, all right? And then what was the experience that she was going through is practically her muscle cramp, okay? Right, good job. So when she was going through the muscle cramp and she was feeling numb, it was agonizing, the pain was bad. But again, how can I actually give it an explanation of what was the person's mentality is like, okay? So was her mentality stable? This is what we're discussing on, right? So this is what we discussed about. So how can we actually write that content over here? This is where I add the sentence, which I supposedly mentioned earlier. Then I need to add it in my sentence, which is what? Which is that Jasmine couldn't believe this was happening. This was the sentence they want you to add in the sent in the uh, in the writing, right? So I can add it anywhere. It doesn't have a point. It doesn't have a problem. So once I tell her what was the situation, what was the problem that she was going through, I state that she knew that the metal was far away from winning it. So this, her mental stability, she cannot believe that why is this happening to me as in a thought. And the second thought was running at the same time is where she knew that the medal was far away from winning it. So that means she has already come to a point of giving up. So this is like the drop down of her state, of, of her situation, right? This is the drop over here. From then, from then onwards, how are we able to move on to the story over here is in this position. Now, when the hero or heroine in a story is about to die, as usual, as always, somehow the girlfriend can come and wake him up or the or uh, the boyfriend wakes up the girlfriend by screaming and shouting and then you know all the drastic moves can happen pretty much like that kind of an idea but this is more on the idea of motivation that means what was the drive that she had what was the motivation she had if possible try to give a quote as well not a problem at all that means if you are able to give a sentence that it actually gives a boom to your writing bagos okay now for an example you see here so masa in this sentence, as you could see that she couldn't believe what she was happening and she knew that the medal was far away from winning it. So when that when that thought actually hit her, 
Immediately you see here that I changed the idea. She remembered her coach words of wisdom. Okay, that means ayat atau perkataan atau sesuatu yang arif dikatakan oleh coach dia lah. Alright. So, in this case, I used, in this case, as you could see, I used a dialogue like, okay, this was the coach. What the coach actually said, you are your own competitor, push harder. That means no one is a competition, no one you need to compare with. If possible, go ahead, fight and push again for, for, your, for yourself. Remember, look at that mark codes that I've actually put over here clearly. You need to remember that using your code marks is something that is important. As you could see, it starts here and it ends here. All right. When it ends here, as you see, the exclamation marks must be inside the code marks. All right. Okay, moving on. So once you have already got a push in a cell that you are your competitor, you know, your, 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 your coach has said something, okay, this is it, I need to do this. So this is where the person comes into the point of, comes into the point of realization. This is the final scene, right? So this is the final scene. So how were you able to write the final scene over here? In this case, you could say that Jasmine Jasmine let the words sink in and she thought of something at the same time. Let the words sink in. Sink in maksudnya dia, dia nak pahamkan apa yang, uh, apa yang uh, coach dia katakan, right? So once that understanding is done, then she has her own quote over here. As you could see, win the race or die trying. So she was talking to herself. It's either I need to win the race or I need to die trying. That means it's like a motivation to herself that, you know what? It's just my thoughts only is the one that's killing me, not my body. So what she does. So I need to show the tense in my uh, writing over here. So the first tense that I said, that one last bit of energy, she sprinted the heart away. Okay, that means she started like zoom all the way. Okay. She zoomed all the way as far. So you could see what is the final outcome. Now the final outcome, as you could see, it's best. It's either to say that she win or lose or anything that she learned from what, whatever that she had gone through for the day. So over here, you could see that she dived into the finishing line and won the race. So I just give a simple finishing on this, uh, on, this uh, on this content over here that she won the race already. Right? But winning the race is not something that is important. But as you could see, the next sentence I say, later she realized. Okay, later she realized. That means because of these, these motivations that she had in her head, because of these positive vibes that she had in her head, that she understood one thing, that failure is not about losing the game, but to quit. What does it mean? It's like a quote. Now, failure is about not about losing the game. You think just because you lose the game, you're a failure. It's not about that. It's about you quitting. If you say, you know what, I don't want to do this, I quit. I don't want to do So when you quit is where you are losing the game. Get the idea? So if you are able to provide a content like this, this particular style of writing would be super good. And your teachers or the person who's marking your paper would be a little more excited with your writing over here. In this case, okay? You understand guys i hope this was understandable for you just a small work that i would like to give you guys over here try to write it in the content with at least four dif uh, in, in in at least four paragraphs okay to show the same inten intensity that i've shown you in the sentence and you can give your examples later in your writing okay make sure remember that when you guys are writing i want to state something that creativity and imagination gives you great writing so guys practice more writing practice more on your reading as well all right there is no uh, much of a content that i'd like to discuss so far so i will see you in the next class take care stay safe goodbye